In 2011, overall retailing in Hungary declined by 2.5% in value terms. Expensive food prices, growing black economy, and generally low consumer purchasing power was a large part of this decline. As of January 1, 2012, Hungary's 27% VAT rate is the highest in Europe, and this will have significant consequences on the FMCG market over the next five years. The VAT increase comes as another burden for consumers and producers alike amid the public health tax on products with high sugar, caffeine, and sodium levels, and the increased excise tax on tobacco and certain alcohol products. Hungarian households have been burdened by the high unemployment rates of 11%, and with the recent value drop of the foreign against the euro and the Swiss franc, uh, household foreign currency loans have soared and lowered purchasing power even further. Hungarian consumers have been spending a majority of their income on essential items since the beginning of the economic crisis. Grocery sales in 2011 made up more than half of all retail sales, while packaged food made up 20% of all retail sales. The VAT increase will continue to fuel this trend, and grocery sales are expected to grow even further by as much as 3% by the end of 2016. The VAT rate's negative effects will have the biggest impact on the non-grocery market, uh, such as home and gardening specialists and leisure and personal goods specialists, because their items are considered less essential. Consumers are expected to turn towards purchasing more products from wholesalers and discounters as these retailers are generally cheaper and products can be purchased in bulk. As price increases are inevitable, the already large black economy is expected to further increase. Uh, currently, the black market in Hungary is expected to be somewhere between 15 to 20 percent of total retail sales. Retailers such as Tesco which ranks first in retailing and accounts for 10% of total retail sales, and CBA, which ranks second and accounts for 7% of total retail sales, have been using this increased VAT rate to their advantage in their advertisements by saying that they will not raise the price of basic food products. Retailers are likely to use these necessity goods as a lure for consumers while they were try to make up for the difference they lose in other product categories that are considered non-essential basic food products.